Welcome. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at these USB OTG adapters. And if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to these in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I have these adapters here. It came with two. And then I have a Nexus 7 tablet. And I'm going to try this with a couple things. I have an HDMI to USB adapter. I have a boroscope and a traditional webcam. So this package actually comes with two adapters. Okay, so we got four zip ties. I'm not exactly sure what those are for. I guess if you're plugging a lot of things in, you might want these for cable management. And then we got two adapters here. So this is where you plug in something like um, a camera. You could plug in a keyboard, mouse, any kind of USB peripheral. And then here we have micro USB that plugs into your tablet or phone, and then this is for power. So this one you can run the power into your device while using the OTG capabilities. So I'll plug that into my tablet here. I'll plug in power. So thus far it doesn't look like it's recognizing this as a power device. Let me double check that this charger works with this device. And it does. I'll check the other adapter. And this one doesn't seem to be able to charge it either. Well that's kind of a bummer. I'll try one of these webcams now. So I've downloaded this software, it's called USB Camera. I'll open it. It says, for stability of the device, we strongly recommend you use Safely Eject before removing the device. I'll hit OK. It says, please connect a USB webcam, EasyCap, or UVC video grabber. So I'll plug in the camera. It says, allow the USB camera to access the USB device. I'll say OK. Well, there's a sign it works. <laughs> OK. And here we are. So that works pretty good. Let's see if I can record that. So this is my first time using this app. I'll see what kind of capabilities we have. Looks like we can record here. I'll hit record. I'll hit allow. Okay, we can see it's recording up here in the upper right. So I'll stop that. So, so far the first device seems like it's working. I'll eject that. I'll unplug it. Next I'll plug in this boroscope. And if I can find links to some of these, I'll put them in the description too. Well, this device doesn't seem to be working quite as well. It could be the boroscope. There we go. There we go, it wasn't a little loop. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this one does not seem to work very well. And I don't know if it's the adapter or the boroscope. Next, I'm going to try this USB to HDMI adapter. So we'll put some HDMI input in this. I'll put the output from my Mac with HDMI. Say okay here. And this does not seem to be working with this device. Okay, I'm going to disconnect this and reconnect it. I don't know if the computer was set up properly. And it doesn't look like that's working. So this may be too much. And this is a Nexus 7, it's quite a few years old. So I don't know if it's this on-the-go adapter, or this HDMI to USB adapter, or something else that is making this not work. It could also be the app. I also have a mouse here, I'll try that. That seems to be working fairly well. I'll try a keyboard. That seems to be working. I just hit Alt-Tab to cycle through the applications. So it seems to be recognizing it. Okay, so I have a web browser up here. I'll type something in. Yeah, that seems to work fine. So I'll try a different USB camera app.
Okay, so I have this other app up. It says, hello, my friend. I'll hit get started. It's asking for permissions. I'll say allow, allow, allow. I'll say okay, close. Okay, so last time the camera seemed to work fairly well, so I'll try it. Okay, so that's working. Try the boroscope. That seems to be working fairly well. Now I'll try the HDMI capture card. And that does not seem like it is working. On the Nexus 7, this does not seem like it works. I don't know if it would work on a newer Android tablet or phone. Okay, so I have this Samsung bar USB drive here. I'll plug that in, pull down from the top. Here we have the device here. I'll hit it, I'll open up USB storage, and we're accessing the photos on it. There we go. So that does work with thumb drives. So with this tablet, it works okay. Uh, maybe it works as good as any other one would, I don't know. It's not charging properly, so I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if there's a setting on here I need to play with, or if it just is not compatible, or if it just doesn't work, I'm not sure. It seems to work okay with the boroscope on that second application I downloaded, so that could be pretty handy. You could plug in this boroscope and you could take this somewhere um, it's, you know, it's portable. You could take it in your car or something and investigate something with it. It worked with the webcam, but I don't know many applications where you'd use a webcam over the camera in the device itself. This is probably better quality than the camera in here. Maybe. I don't know. And it did not work with my USB to HDMI adapter, which was kind of interesting. Someone actually asked me about this. Uh, I may play around with this some more, and if I do get it working, I'll make a separate video on that. But that would have been pretty interesting to have a USB to HDMI adapter plugged into this old tablet and have it work. So... So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.